Goose and the Swans A vain and empty goose one day complained shrilly to members of her flock of the ill regard given geese compared to other birds. See the peacock yonder, she gestured with a flap of her wing, and how she hides her flaws behind her gaudy feathers. Were she and I stripped, I pledge my word that all would find me the finer bird. Crossing the mead to where a bunch of swans sported in the stream, she continued her tirade. Again, what arrogance we see, she cackled, indicating the swans. Because we geese are known to skim the waters delicately, these base creatures think to mimic us with their awkward and noisy splashing. So saying, she plunged into the water and, spreading her plumes, tried to assume the swan's stately crest. Conceited thing, elate with pride, complained one of the swans. Though you put on airs, your oafishness reveals you to be just a silly goose. Foppery is the pride of fools. The Crow and the Pitcher A crow, ready to die with thirst, flew with joy to a pitcher, hoping to find some water in it. He found some there, to be sure, but only a little drop at the bottom, which he was quite unable to reach. He then tried to overturn the pitcher, but it was too heavy. So he gathered up some pebbles, with which the ground was covered, and, taking them one by one in his beak, dropped them into the pitcher. By this means the water gradually reached the top, and he was able to drink at his ease. Necessity is the mother of invention. The Eagle and the Owl The Eagle and the Owl, after many quarrels, swore that they would be friends forever and that they would never harm each other's young ones. But do you know, my little ones, said the owl, if you do not, I fear it will go hard with them when you find them. No, I have never seen them, replied the eagle. The greater your loss, said the owl. They are the sweetest, prettiest things in the world. Such dear eyes, such charming plumage, such winning little ways. You'll know them now from my description. A short time after, the eagle found the little owls in a hollow tree. These hideous staring frights, at any rate, cannot be neighbor owls' fine brood, said her. So I may make away with them without the least misgiving. So saying, he made a meal of them. The owl, finding her young ones gone, loaded the eagle with reproaches. Nay, answered the eagle, blame yourself rather than me. If you paint with such flattering colors, it is not my fault if I do not recognize your portraits. Love should not blind truth. <laughs>